Yeah, yep, I'm right. Well, a very good afternoon and welcome to YJFL action here from Ford Park. It's round two here. The season is now in full swing. A very cool, brisk Sunday afternoon ahead of us here as Holdelberg take on Park Orchards here in the Youth Boys competition. Just maybe going to start a minute or so late here as both teams came out onto the ground just a little bit slowly. Toss has been done in the middle. So we're just waiting for the teams to break away from their final huddles and get into their positions so we can get this contest on the way. My name is Liam Vertigan. It's a pleasure to be here with you once again this afternoon. It'll be very interesting to see how these two sides work each other out in the early parts of the season. Wins are oh so important so you can get that important uh, grade that you want to play in in this youth boys competition. You don't want to play a grade too up or you don't want to play a grade too low. That'll be very interesting to see how they go today, just in round two. Park Orchards have just broken from their huddle now and you can probably pick it up in the effects microphone that uh, Heidelberger do on the quick toes. Very proud club. Holderberg obviously with their senior side that compete in the Northern Football League and Park Orchards with their side that compete in the Eastern Football League. That's probably the next step for some of these lads after they finish up junior football. They go up and play reserves or senior football at those respective senior clubs. So the players just making their way into their positions now and we'll see you start very, very shortly. Both sides oozing with talent on both sides here. It'll be very interesting to see how we go. Just waiting for the last few to make their way into their spots. Umpires just checking things over, making sure things are ready to go. We'll raise the ball right now. And there is the siren, and we're underway. First quarter here from Ford Park. Centre clearance early for Heidelberg. Chance for Donahue. He'll get the kick away inside Ford 50. Comes out the back, and this will be a goal inside 10 seconds. The Tigers with a quick roar as they get onto the board early. And that one is through Sam Alexander. One to him. And Heidelberg strike very, very quickly. One straight six they are. Park Orchard's yet to score, and we haven't even gone half a minute in the first. So have a look at the extra notes that was kindly given to me by the Heidelberg Football Club. Sam Alexander is a gun forward, and he covers ground really, really well, and he did really nicely there. From the restart, what an electric start from the Tigers, and they get another centre clearance here. They edge the ball inside Ford 50. Dropping the market in opportune time there was Webb. Umpire circling, he'll call for it. It's about 55 out from home for the Tigers, kicking to that pavilion road end of the ground. Hit out of the ruck there that time from Healy. The big ruckman who's also on the Northern Knights list. Once again, that ball not going anywhere, and it's a ball up about 65 out from home. Healy out of the ruck again, dominant. Down to Pepper. Pepper inside, Ford 50. Gets past a few on the half, Ollie. 
Still an opportunity here for the Tigers. And a push in the back is called, and it's a free kick to Heidelberg again. This one to be taken by Jet Bennett. Deep in the left forward pocket here. You'd feel he'll go the snap around the body here. And he has. I think he's just he's just pulled that across the face. He has. Through for a behind. 117 Holdelberg. Park Orchard yet to score. First middle two dominated by the Tigers. The Sharks go wide. That's a solid mark taken by Prest. Pressed towards the middle of the ground. Finds his teammate in a nice little hole there. Galastians. Plays on, he goes wide. Good little fist away that time from Vipond. And it's gone over and out for a throw in. So this is the furthest part of the ground that Park Orchards have been able to take it. The hit out went in the direction of Jackson. And we've got a free kick for high contact, and the free kick will be taken by Vipond. <laughs> Vipond just looking for some movement now. He kicks inside Ford 50. Fisted away by a couple of hands here. Opportunity out the back. Oh, good run on and good pick up there that time. Looked like it was Mirazani. That's a free kick for a hold. Also going the way of Heidelberg. That one was Mirazani that time, getting the free kick. Handball to the middle of the ground, a little bit dangerous. No one able to get their hands on the football umpire, letting them play. Good smother off the boot there that time by the Park Orchards player, and it's still in the middle of the ground, and the umpire will call for it now. From the restart out of the ruck, Healy. Little kick forward, Vipond. Handball's out wide. Kick forward. Went through a few set of hands here, so Mirazani again, he's been lively. Very good with the ability to move the ball nicely. Here's Hogan. Hogan inside forward 50. No, no one there. Just Nesta Sharks. The ball goes out wide. Ball bounces towards the boundary line, stays in the field of play. Kenny's kick was smothered. Although I shouldn't say it was Kenny, he was the next target down the line. That kick came from Hutchison. It's gone out of bounds for a boundary throw-in. Ball slung back in by the umpire down to Hutchison. Works his way through nicely. Got a handball away that time to Galastians, who's kicks inside forward 50. Numbers here favour the Tigers. Handball goes in the direction of Pepper. Pepper soccer's off the ground and finds a teammate. It works out nicely as... Hogan kicks out wide. Numbers here for the Sharks. First one there on the bounce was Webb. Webb stumbling a little bit as he gained possession of the football. Gave a handball off to Tate. Tate kicks back towards the middle of the ground and finds his teammate in Kenny. Kenny stabs the ball up the line. Nice little ball, but fisted away at an inopportune time for the Park Orchard side. Vipon got a handball away. Opportunity for Nudic this time. Got himself into a little bit of trouble instead. Trying to hand the ball off to Naismith. Couldn't quite uh, hit him up. And now the ball will be wrapped up on the outer side of the centre square now. Healy dominant out of the ruck early. The Northern Knights listed player. Another inside forward 50 here for Heidelberg. Being held without it. And duly picked up by the umpire, and it's a free kick to the Sharks. They switch play to the broadcast side. The kick has just hung up in the air, and it hit the uh, poor lad in McGriskin in the back of the head there. As the free kick will go to the way of the Sharks. Jackson. Hutchison. Nice little hit up too. Webb. Webb inside 50. 
Decent little kick, good fist away there that time. Another kick smothered off the boat. Hot football at the moment. No one really giving an inch. First real time that the Holderberg defence had to hold up there and they did quite nicely. Opportunity here this time for Postil. Now the ball comes away from Heidelberg, but it's going to come straight back as Tate took the mark. Tate now up the forward line. Galastians went the one-hand grab, but couldn't quite hang on, but might not work out that bad at the moment because here's an opportunity for Naismith. Around the body, gets to the top of the square. Numbers here favour the Sharks, and that's a nice mark back with the flight of the football. Mark has been taken by Worthington. We're right behind this kick. He's on a slight angle. Should just about pop it through. It's on his approach now. Right footer. Kick is on the way and it's straight through the middle and he loves it. Goal to Worthington and a goal to Park Orchards. That's their first. One straight six they are. Park Orchards, uh, Hodderberg, sorry, 1-1-7. One, one, Nine minutes gone first quarter here. And they deserve that, the Sharks. Reward for solid effort. From the restart. Healy out of the ruck, just tapped it off to his right and his teammate was able to get the centre clearance and they... Just uh, mung the ball inside forward 50 on a bit of four bouncer. Kick even shorter inside forward 50. Allows the Tigers to get in a group and sort of surround the football as that kick goes to the top of the square. Little bit of body work here. Chance for Alexander for his second, but he's sprayed that one across the face. And in the end, it's escorted through for a behind. And that's another behind of the total. Heidelberg 1-2. Park Orchards 1 straight. Ten and a bit to go first quarter. Webb will take the kick out. He's taking his time to get to the pill. And that new rule where you can just gallop out a full back. He takes full advantage of it. Gains about 25 on the run. Kicks it out to the broadcast side. Flying in from the side but not being able to hang on to the mark was Riley White. And they hold the ball in. We'll have a ball up. From the restart. Pegrini gets the ball inside. Sharks are back there. Webb switches play to the Oriole Road side where he hits up a teammate. So, a little bit of movement out wide, which is always helpful, but unfortunately, that ball's come undone. Fisted away by Jake Galastians that time, did quite nicely. Sharks out wide. They just can't get to their teammates on the full at the moment using the half ollie effect. Little kick forward. Went past a few targets. Bowled him over. And boy calls for it, so... Not really a clean game of footy so far. A bit, uh, bit scrappy in parts. Clearing the contest that time was Jackson. Couldn't find a teammate there. Held off it was Naismith. Couldn't quite get free. Feely kicked the ball forward. Good smother off the boot there that time by Jackson. Butted up and went a second time. Fisted a ball forward in the direction of Webb and Galastians. And here is another opportunity for Park Orchards. And taking a strong mark is Worthington. Worthington wheels around, gets to the top of the square, dropping a mark, but still may be able to get the ball off the ground there that time. Doesn't matter, I think it's been rushed through, has it? Umpire signalled something here, yes. It's a free kick directly in front, should fair dinkum just about bang this out onto the road. Free kick in the goal square. You would have thought he'd be kicking from directly in front. See, he's been put on an angle here. 
Anyway, kick is on the way and it's straight through the middle and the Sharks hit the front for the first time today. Two straight 12 they are now. And they're leading Holdelberg. One, two, eight. So the Sharks lead by four. Under seven minutes to go here in the first. Healy out of the ruck. And as you can hear, the umpire said it didn't go far enough, so it's play on. And that's a little bit too high. Free kick to Jackson. Kicks the ball high, inside forward 50. And the mark has been taken by Prest. Right foot, absolutely got all of it. You need the thump out of the football. Kicks to the top of the square. Worthington was one out. And sneaking another one through is uh, number 11. I'll get his name at quarter time. He's kicked two in the space of a minute. And Park Orchard's now three straight, 18. And Holdelberger, one, two, eight. Ten point lead. Turned it around rather quickly. Couple of handy goals. As we just wait for the umpire to restart proceedings in the middle. Healy out of the ruck again. Little soccering ball backwards to go forwards from Heidelberg's Hogan. Pressed, barged his way through, eventually got a handball free. Still an opportunity here for Park Orges if they can clear, but Heidelberg handily kicked the ball out wide. A little bit of a foot race here to get onto the football. Should have ample time and got a very kind bounce. Did McGriskin. He's already had a falcon on the back of the head this quarter. Hit up a teammate that time. Kick inside forward 50 was pretty good, but uh, a free kick has been found here. And it's the going of the way of the Tigers. And it'll be taken by Aaron Perguini. Perguini. On the notes, he's a uh, great team player. Plays his role wherever he is, and he's a great kick for a big man. So let's see what happens here on the right foot. Kick is on the way, and he's just popped that through at about goal post height for his first of the afternoon. And one back against the grain for the Tigers. They go to 2-2-14. Two, two, Park Orchards, three straight 18. In the back stages here of the first quarter. So a good start here for both sides. Good little game of football to get your Sunday underway here. Handball free. White ran himself into a little bit of trouble. The handball probably wasn't to his intended target because they've coughed the footy up here and the ball goes wide. Really well read off the bounce here. Kick out wide to the broadcast side. Opportunity here for Jackson. He's taken a little bit too high. Umpire found that. We'll just take in some sounds of the game for a second through the microphones. Jackson's kick out wide went in the direction of Alexander, but he couldn't take the mark. And being there and taking the ball away for Heidelberg was Mirazani. He helped his teammate out. Here he is again. He's butted up and gone a second time. Kick inside, forward 50. Didn't get to Pagrini on the intended attack, but it's worked out and well anyway. Another one to Heidelberg. And they hit the front once again. Good football there from the Tigers. And what was a 10-point deficit is now a four-point lead for them. Or two points, I should, should say. 3-2 to three straight. Okay, 
Might have been that man Pagrini again, and he's kicked his second. Ball back in the middle, Healy out of the ruck again. Dominant so far. Handball from Flynn was good. Opportunity there that time for Brazali. Couldn't hit up a teammate though. It's a hot footy, that's too high. Mirazani, he started hot too. That's a delightful hit too. McGriskin sends the ball high inside Ford 50. Uh, just worked a little bit too forward for Greeny that time. Ball wide, good fist away there that time. Still an opportunity for Heidelberg. You can probably hear the umpire, very loud whistle. Held him by the jumper, free kick to Galastians. Galastians wide to the broadcast side. Kick forward by De Cosmo. Numbers here favour the Sharks, but the Tigers are doing well to hold up here for the time being. Picking up the football and pretty much having to get rid of it straight away was Postil. Contact below the knees there by the looks. Might have hurt his hand here. That one went against Demelis that time. All high again, right in front of us here. Standing his ground and maybe dropping a mark he should have taken there was Naismith. It'll be held up there. It'll be a ball up once again as we're inside the last minute of play, first quarter. Go again from the restart. Good tackle from Donahue. That's not going anywhere. Ball up. At the back that time, Healy fisted the ball forward. De Cosmo was wrapped up in a good tackle and his handball just found the sanctuary of the boundary line and gone over and out for a throw in. Ball flung back into play. Handball came from Tomasi that time and goes out of bounds once again for a throw in where we might just have time for the throw in and maybe a ruck contest as the siren is about to go for quarter time and there it is so at quarter time it's Heidelberg leading things by two points there 3 2 20 Park Orchards are uh, three straight 18 very good hotly contested first quarter so what we'll do is we'll take our quarter time break and we'll be back in a couple of minutes for the start of the second quarter
No. The um, yeah, the umpire whistles them. Welcome back, quarter time here at Ford Park. It's Heidelberg by two points, 3 2 to 3 straight. Pagrini and Alexander, the goal kickers for the Tigers. Tovey and Worthington, the goal kickers for the Sharks. As the players just make their way into their positions now, on a little, little breeze blowing through the commentary box here. Shouldn't say there's any stragglers on the ground. You can't really go on the ground at the moment. Just won't making sure we're all 666 alive and well. As we're underway in the second. Healy out of the ruck. Opportunity for Galastians. He was taking a pretty good tackle there that time by Mirazani. Mirazani a little bit slow to get to his feet, but uh, he'll get there. Galastians, it's a good name to say to be honest. Kicks the ball out wide. It's a it's a bouncing ball on the outer side. Getting there first and allowing the tackle to come towards him there was McGriskin. He's had the Falcon in the first quarter too. Kick down the line, it's a nice one. There he is again, Galastians. On the right foot, sinks it down the line, needs a mark for it, or maybe just presenting himself a little bit too much there was Worthington. Little handball goes in the direction of Pepper. Pepper was wrong-footed there, so he puts in a little dribbler down the line. It worked out quite nicely. Ball back towards the middle of the ground was pretty good. Just slipped through a few sets of hands, and now the Sharks can come away with it. And they bring the ball to about the edge of the centre square, getting close to their half forward. It's a good attack on the football by both players here. Here's an opportunity for Hutchison. Hutchison on the right to the top of 50. Mark has been taken that time by Dominico. He goes underground. Spinning in and out of trouble here that time was Vipond. Vipond back that time to Dominico. Gets it to the top of the square. Dropping the mark, Lucas Tovey that time. Now the Tigers can relieve, although... Just dropping in an opportune there time was Dominico. Got a handball away. Vipond again. Inside 50. It's a floating, ugly sort of thing. Tovey was slung in a 360 and dispossessed of the football. Pepper over the top of it and will have a ball up in a dangerous position. About 25 out from home, although as soon as I say that's a free kick. So Darcy Pepper will get the free kick. He kicks out wide and he hits up one of his teammates. So it's a, it's a hotter start to this second quarter. Both sides want it. Kick out wide, fisted away. Opportunity for the Tigers to go through now. Here's the big ruckman in Healy. Described as a strong big man who makes his presence felt all around the ground. That is, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. He's been magnificent so far. Handball towards the middle of the ground. A little bit of uh, danger to it, but uh, they're just trying to work their way out of the pressure here, Holdelberg, and they do so now. Kick forward, but just a shark waiting for it, like waiting for its dinner. Kick back towards the middle of the ground. It's a bouncing sort of thing. It's a two-on-one here that favours Holdelberg. Handball inboard was good. Healy over the top. Opportunity this time for Flynn. Flynn just had to wait for it the second time. He sold a little bit of candy, and now he's run away. Kick inside, 450. Underground ball, one-on-one. -on -one. Sharks all should relieve here. Opportunity for Webb to get the football if he's clean. He's not. It's allowing the Tigers to come back again and get the football. Over the top of the football here this time is Hogan and Pagrini, but uh, not going anywhere, and it's a ball up in a good spot for the Tigers. Right forward pocket, 35 out from home. Ball up, fisted away, shot on goal. Very nicely done. Hasn't that come from absolutely nothing? And Holdelberg kick away. Early stages here in the, in the second quarter. Looked like Cam Flynn, that, uh, the 17, that rove that one off the pack and was able to get boot to ball. I saw him getting the high fives. Good football there from the Tigers. Reward for early effort. Three and a half minutes gone here in the, in the second. 4-2 plays three straight. Ball up again. Fight, uh, Ruckman fight a bit of a draw in the ruck here. 
That's explosive pace out of the middle there that time by Mirazani was tucking the footy under his arm and went for a little gallop. Ball gets to the Oriel Road side, the bench side of the ground. Handball to the middle found Healy. Mirazani now on the right. Oh, it's a good hit. Mark taken. He can go for a run here, Bennett. Bennett inside forward 50. Need a mark. No, oh, nearly. Slipping through the hands, but it's in a good spot. That's going to be balled up, you feel, and it will. So from the restart, in the ruck there that time was Bennett rotating himself into the ruck for, for Healy for the time being. Handball goes out wide. Head over the football there that time. Nicely done, spitting himself out of trouble. Xavier O'Connor, another underground ball. Healy waiting for it. He's got a nice sort of solid stance when kicking the football. Kicks it to a pack of about five. Uh, two on one coming out the back. Hutchison's in a little bit of trouble there. Had the handball backwards to go forwards. And the ball has been escorted over the boundary line. That time by Cuthbert. Ball slung back into play now. Front position that time. Bucrini in the ruck. Here he is again. That was Mirazani. He's kicked her behind. Holderberg 4-3. Three, three straight park orchards. Five and a half gone second quarter and just galloping out of full back and going for a run is Webb. He's gained about 35 metres. He comes to the stand of his run now and kicks it out wide, but it's going to come straight back in. A couple of little underground handballs can work out nicely, although in there in defence uh, defense is Gassman. He goes wide. Ooh, brave kick. Turned over. Mark has been taken by Hasuga. Short ball. That was also underground. Put a little bit of pressure on his teammate there in gravel. Mirazani barging his way through. He's been very, not a very, very good early. High ball. Top of the square. Need a mark here. It's fisted away. Comes to ground. Good roving. Handball out the back. Opportunity there that time for Bolden. Gets it to the top of the square. It's a goal. Heidelberg stretching the advantage now. It's out to 15 points. 5-3-33 they are now. Park Orchards, three straight 18. Nearly gone seven minutes here in the third, uh, second quarter. So the Tigers by 15 from the restart. Ball out of the middle. Well read by McNeil. He got a high little kick out towards the boundary line. It's a tumbler. First one there that time is Cam Flynn. He escorts it over for a throw in. And you just feel that uh, Park Orchards might need to kick the next one. Ball comes out the back of the two rucks. Spinning himself out of trouble, Naismith. Opportunity here for McGriskin. Nice little handball back in the middle of the ground. It found the 30, or oh, the 24, or the 14 or something. I lost my number there for a second as the ball comes back towards the broadcast side. Doing a spinning pirouetting 360. Getting himself in a little bit of trouble. Here is a go for the, the Sharks. Here's Jackson. Jackson sets sail for home, really. Gets to the top of the square, stays in the field of play and rush through for a behind. First blemish on the scoreboard of the day for the Sharks. 5-3 plays 3-1. The kick out happened, but uh, that'll be coming back. And someone thinks it's a good idea to get a circular saw out and the uh, house is behind us just to really wreak havoc on the background noise. Ball comes back into play. Here's an opportunity that time for De Cosmo. He kicks down the line. It's a delightful ball. Mark has been taken. That's that's Healy. He stands out like anything. Kick down the line. Also good. So good little bit of possession football here from the Tigers. So they're just building up on the outer side. They've got a full bench to use. 
kick smothered off the boot. Chance for the Sharks if they can mop up, but numbers here favour the Tigers on their bench side. Dispossessed pretty good there was Flynn. And the umpire is paid holding the football, so probably the right call there. Dead setter, outer side wing. Taking a bounce from the kickoff. That's oh, a good ball too. Mark taken by Nudick. He kicks inside the forward 50. Can they get a mark here? Oh, out the back, shelling peas. It fell in Jackson's lap. And Jackson will go back and have a shot from pretty much directly in front. This to peg the margin back to eight points. He's looking around at the at the clock, thinking he's got the 30 seconds on the clock AFL style. So Jackson, you should just about put this one in the book here, you'd feel. The kick is on the way. And he snuck it through nicely. Jackson kicks his first. That's Park Orchard's fourth. They go to 4-1-25. Heidelberg 5-3-33. Uh, Approaching mid-stages second quarter. Although we have reached the mid-stage of the second quarter. Eight-point ball game for the Tigers. And, uh, you know, the old saying is I, I tell them they need the next goal and they get it. So good football there from the Sharks. We go again from the restart. Ruckman fought a bit of a draw there that time. Hogan was there in the ruck. Here's Mirazani again. Centre clearance. Another one for him. Kicks the ball inside. Ford 50. Strong presentation. Here's the big Ruckman. Healy. Northern Knights listed ladders I've already made mention to. Makes his presence felt all around the ground. He's a great teammate. And he strives to find the best out of himself. We are right behind this kick. He's kicking to the right of screen. On his approach now. Arcs a little bit right. Kick is on the way. Absolutely no problem about distance, but uh, accuracy, unfortunately, just across to the right and through for a behind. 5-4 to 4-1 now. Nine-point margin to the Heidelberg Youth Boys side. I'd be pretty happy with this, you feel. So out of full back go the Sharks. We've got to be careful on how far you run out. He nearly ran his full measure there. They get the ball out wide. Gets really close to our broadcast position. This is McGriskin. Snaps the ball around. That's a clever kick. Hogan with the footy. Nice ball too. Donahue. Donahue to the pocket, and Healy again. Healy plays on, centering ball, right idea, but uh, accuracy just uh, not what he would have liked, unfortunately. It's been turned over by our, well, it's been kicked to our mystery number 33. We'll figure that one out after, as the ball goes to the interchange side. Now it's a foot race. It's set for press nicely. Press just has to... Shrug that tackle in. In theory, he was being held by the arm. You, you can't really do that, one would have thought. Press kicks it to the pocket, and it was just it had a little bit too much sauce on it, and it's gone out of bounds for a throw in. So, just waiting for the ball to come back. It's gone over the fence. At quarter time, the scores were 3 2 to 3 1. 3-2 uh, to 3 straight, sorry, and that was Holderberg with the lead. I've extended that margin out by an even kick so far in this second quarter. As the ball's back into play, Tovey rises from the back. He just got rid of it in time. His, his kick was smothered off the boot. Awfully close to the boundary line, and we'll see another throw in there. Been a good contest. It's just lifted a little bit. Here's the form on this umpire. Oh yeah, arched the back and threw it in nicely with the left, uh, left arm. Tovey kicks to the top of the square. Numbers back there. And how's that going to be adjudicated? Oh gee, I thought uh, McNeil had control of the football there for, for Heidelberg and the umpire said 
No, that's that's the man in front there, and he's paid the mark to Park Orchards, and uh, looks like Harley Jackson's taking the mark again. Yes, it is. So Jackson for his second to join Tovey with two on the afternoon. On his approach. And he pops it through. To the applause of the crowd. And the Sharks keep on rising to the challenge of the Tigers. And the score is now 5-1-31 Park Orchards. They're still trailing Heidelberg 5-4-34. Five, five and a half minutes to go here at Ford, uh, Ford Park. As we just wait for the footy to come back to the middle. From the restart, rotation in the ruck. We've now got uh, Postil in the ruck for Park Orchards. He's got himself over the top of the football after going to ground after that contest. Hogan's put the body over the top of the football and wasn't getting rid of that any time soon, so he's been called to ball it up. We go again. Postil out the ruck. Heidelberg clear. Get the ball inside Ford 50. Got there on the half volley. Well picked up by Webb. Webb spun a 360 and got a kick away. Well picked up there by Mirazani. And he lost the football and his a tackle was just a little bit too high. Galastian's out wide. Postil running onto the football. Kick inside Ford 50. Or oh, nearly taking a nice mark there. Was pressed, but pressed butters up and goes again. Opportunity for both sides over the top of the football here. They're scrapping for it. That's a nice solid handball. Opportunity here for the Sharks. Can they hit the front here? Ball will go to the top of the square. And it's missed the whole lot. It's gone out of bounds on the full. And that ball has cleared the net. So that'll take a couple of seconds to come back. It's probably gone on to someone's uh, barbecue out the back over there. Oh, no, there it goes. So free kick for Heidelberg in the right back pocket here. Seno kicks it out wide. Well, Mirazani leapt way too early, and that's just fell into the lap of Toby. Tall lad. Kicks the ball long, top of the square. Sort of, oh, back with the fly to the footy! What a grab that is! Sort of just fell in from the side, and it, it landed in his arms, and he took an absolute ripper of a mark here. And the mark has been taken. Just got to figure out who it is. It's not, uh, not Jackson again, is it? It is Samuel Prest, the number seven. He's had a good couple of minutes, actually. Directly in front, put it in the book sort of stuff here. Kick is on the way, right through the middle. And the Sharks have hit the front. Prest gets onto the scoreboard. It's now three unanswered for the Sharks. They hit the lead. 6 1 37 plays 5 4 34. Two and a half minutes ago, second quarter. And it's been a very, uh, very, very willing game of football so far. No real. Well, no, either, well, either side not really giving an inch, but uh, a solid back half of this second quarter for the Sharks. Sees them lead by three. From the restart, Healy's back in the ruck, and his craft is second to none. go again, Healy out of the ruck again, got the footy to ground, little handball over the top, now who's going to clear here This you, you feel like it's going to be an important clearance but it's not going anywhere when the ball is locked in like that Healy out of the ruck, works it out the back Mirazani ooh, wheeled himself in and out of trouble by about four of them Kick inside the Ford 50, slipping through the set of hands there of Webb. Ball comes to ground. Webb butters up with a good tackle. And his reinforcements arrived in the form of Galastians, and it's a ball up. Ball up from the restart. Hutchison. 
for Campbell. Here's that man again, Glastians. Good handball. And they kick down the broadcast side with the left foot. Nice hit. Just went over the head there that time of Newdick. Numbers here favour the Sharks. Good attack on the football. Newdick inside Ford 50. Can they get a mark from this? Yes, they can. Yep. Pay it. Lucas Tovey. Got it on the second bite of the cherry. Oakley Chargers listed player is young Lucas Tovey, allowed to play today. Tall lad. He's kicked two saucy drills on the afternoon. This is for his third. He's on the approach now on the right foot. Kicker's on the way. And it's across the face, and that's an expired saucy roll, and it's a behind. 6 2 38 plays 5 4 34. We'll probably have a kick in, and the siren will go for half time. Playing on a fullback now, kick out wide, and it'll hang in the air as the siren goes. And at half time, we have got a real ball game here on our hands, everybody. It's the Sharks of Park Orchard, 6 2 38, and they're leading Heidelberg, 5 4 34. We'll take a 10 minute break here for the half time break and we'll be back for the second half of what's looking to be a very good game of football. We'll see you shortly.
Welcome back to Ford Park. About to get underway here for this second half of football in a half time that felt like it went on forever. Very long half time break there for both sides. It's Park Orchards by 4.62 to 5.4. It's going to be a ripping second quarter, second half, you feel. Interesting to see what happens from here for both sides. Once again, waiting on players to get into positions. Shouldn't be too long to go. Got another game to come after this. Heidelberg versus Surrey Park in the in the youth girls competition. <coughs> and we're ready to go now for the second half. And we're away. Healy out the ruck, comes to ground. Jackson, centre clearance for the Sharks. Naismith inside Ford 50 and into the waiting arms there. Gee, that was a, a lightning start and he's pressed. So pressed more or less directly in front, if only a slight angle this to extend the margin out to 10 points for the Sharks in the very very early stages of this third he's on his approach kick is on the way on the right foot and oh touched need the goal line review there you'd feel very very close to the line 5-4-6-3 
Tigers there to fall back. Nearly overcooked that pass. Bolden. Inboard. Risky kick. Chance for the Sharks to have a bit of feeding time here, maybe. Kick to the top of the square by Kenny. It's a two-on-one here that favours Heidelberg, but it's fallen into the arms once again of the waiting Sharks player down four. This time it's Max Dominico. He's kicking from pretty much over the fence here. He's that far in the pocket. It'll take one of his absolute best here. He's going to go the banana, although he just wheels around, goes straight, and he kept it not even halfway up the goalpost, really. He's absolutely slotted it for his first of the afternoon. And very, very handy start to the half for Park Orchards. They go to 7-3-45, Holderberg 5-4-34. Two minutes gone, third quarter. And that's very promising there for the Sharks. Back in the middle, we go again. Healy out of the ruck, down to ground. Down to three Sharks that were running onto the football. Being held over the top of it is Jackson. He's not losing that footy anytime soon, and that's a ball up again. So from the restart, Healy out of the ruck again. But straight down to one of his Park Orchards counterparts. They clear the football momentarily. Cheeky little handball that time. Came from New Dick, they're inside 450 again. Have a look at this link up play. Kick to the top of the square. Slips catch. Did he did he drop that but it's been paid a mark? No, yeah, free kick to uh Heidelberg. Fair enough too. So gee, that would have been handy because that was uh Tovey that would have had the footy as well. And here's New Dick who started the quarter well. Ball will smart off the boot, he'll get it again. A little bit of attention as he kicked the football away. That was a mark. Tovey's handball over the top went in the direction of Kenny. And soccering off the ground, but missing the whole lot. But uh, still kicking it behind was Dominico that time. Seven four forty six Park Orchards. 5-4-34 Heidelberg. Nearly four gone here in the third. De Cosmo out of full back. Here they go, a bit of run out of the back line for the Tigers, although that ball is just bouncing very harshly at the moment for the Tigers. Oh, that's well picked up there that time by a young man who's had a good start, Mirazani O'Connor to Flynn. Sold a bit of candy. Wrong footed his opponent in Vipond that time. And unfortunately, he's coughed that footy up and the mark has been taken by White. White now. Nice hit. Worthington. Worthington down the line. Oh, too tall. Healy. Healy now as that circular saw comes back in my ears. Down the line. Opportunity for Holdelberg, who need to get one back, you feel. It's nearly fallen in the laps of a couple of waiting players. This is Gravel who's over the top of the football, but can't quite get it. Out of the ruck. Chance. Flynn snapping towards goal. And will go out of bounds for a boundary throw in. In front of the people, in front of the pavilion here at the uh, social rooms into the ground here. We wait for the cavalry of players to come over. The ball's slung back into play now. Back position there, Ferguson. Chance there for Webb. Webb got rid of the football, goes in the direction of Vipond once again. Vipond socketed it away. Oh, electing to bump there that time before the football went to the boundary line there. It's gone out of bounds for a throw in.
So we go again, throw in, but nothing happening there. Another boundary, or another ball up, I should say. From the restart, kick goes to the top of the square, throw a few sets of hands. Webb got that handball received, works its way at the back now. Little bit of run behind the football here and able to take a bounce. Nearly stumbled over his own feet, but got a thumping 30-metre handball forward depressed. I thought the umpire paid the mark. There was a handball. Kick goes forward, inside forward 50. Oh, he's too tall, this boy. Lucas Tovey takes the mark, and he'll go back and have a shot, and this to potentially put it out to an even three-goal game. He's directly in front. But let's see what he can do here on the boot. So Tovey for his third. That's a thumping ball. Gets to the top of the square. It falls short, surprisingly. Ball cleared. And that's nicely done. So they can settle from here. McGriskin. Oh boy, good golly. It's a it's a underground worm burner. Handball came inboard from Murphy. It goes backwards to goes forwards. McGriskin again, clearing ball. That's a bit better now. They can load from here. Here's Charlie Greville. He kicks the ball out wide. Pretty good ball too. It's just a little bit of a foot race to get to this football. It was Galastians in a foot race with Michael DeMellis and it's beaten them both as the boundary line came up too quick. Gone out and over for a throw in. 12 and a half minutes to go here in the third and it's a 14-point ball game. A 12-point ball game, sorry. Ball in, ball comes out the back. Good attack by Vipond. Gets a handball free. Chance for Jackson. Couldn't quite get rid of it. Here's Mirazani with the football. He's lost it. And now it's just an absolute pile in on top of it to try and get it out. There we go again. Healy slaps it over his head. Ball goes for Chance for Vipond. He's got it, but uh, he can't get the ball free, and it's another ball up. Healy at the ruck again. Got it down to Pepper. Pepper's little quick kick went in the direction of his teammate and Flynn. Flynn had to wait for it. Now he's uh, stepping in and out and gets the ball inside forward 50 and the mark has been taken on the intercept by Webb. Webb switches play to the outer side. They've got to jump and run towards the football. They do nicely here, the Sharks. Centering ball towards the middle of the ground. Galastians had to wait for it. A little bit of pressure coming in from the side there that time. Uh, just a polite little bump there from Hudson Feely. And they work away with it this time. The Sharks comes to the broadcast side. Good grab there that time. It's that lad again. Tovey kicks inside 450. That's a good ball. And the mark has been taken by Stevens. <laughs> Stevens just a little bit unsure on what to do here. He's loading up towards the top of the square. It's a good thumping ball. But it just drifted late. Through for a behind. Seven five plays five four. Good hit up, good kick out. Seno down the line. Over a few heads. It's a run on to get to the football here. Stays in the field of play. And there was a chance here that time for De Cosmo. Galastians got the hands free. Volleyball spiked forward. I tell you what, not a bad effort. Just having to wait for the football to come to him a little bit there was Demelis. Works out all right for Merizani. Kick inside forward 50 is good. Alexander gets around one, gets around two, gets it on the boot. Misses. That would have been goal of the day if he was to kick that. 5-5 five, five plays 7-5 now. Past mid-stage third quarter. Webb will take the ball out of full back. Goes for a run. Thumping ball out wide. Who's there to take the mark? Oh, flying from the back. Don't tell me. That's not Tovey again, is it? I don't think it was, actually. Hick forward, threw a few sets of hands, comes to ground. Umpire's found something he doesn't like, it's for too high. Free kick goes to 
Heidelberg. Bennett. High ball. Through some hands. Hutchison. Yep, there is Tovey on Q. Oh, he got himself in all sorts of trouble there, and he's been done for holding the football. Good pressure from the Tigers. Kick inside, forward 50. And a good mark coming in from the back there that time from Tate. Tate goes now for Newdick, who's played a very good third quarter. Wheels around, kicks towards the middle of the ground. Fisted away, comes to near the broadcast side. Bit of running had to be done here. One on one, four to the ball. Dominico kicks the ball forward. And it was a good hit. Pressed to the pocket. Bit of playing for a free kick here, but running into an open goal and slamming it through Xavier O'Connor. Gets himself onto the board, and this is a handy little margin now for Park Orchards. They've really turned it around. 8 5 they are now. Holderberg 5 5 35. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Things are looking very nice for the Sharks at the moment. So we're just waiting for things here, 666 and, and the like. So it looks like we've got uh, Mirazani coming from the ground here. Just had to get a replacement player come on the ground for him as the Ball comes back up again in the middle of the ground. The ball tumbles out to the broadcast side. Nice little spinning pirouette there. Ball back in board. No good. Wash uh, Worthington just worked for it a little bit too hard. It got to him on the half ollie. And they clear again. Ball forward. Another one on the half ollie. Trying to spin himself out of trouble there was O'Connor. Still an opportunity for the Sharks. Low spearing ball. Gets to the top of the square. And it's gone through for a goal I think yes Max Dominico I think was the one that soccered that one through I don't think Tovey got there in time it definitely looked more like Dominico that soccered the ball through so that's another one for him and now it's out to a four goal game 9-5-59 uh, Park Orchards and Heidelberg are 5-5-35 five, five, they've only added the one point here this quarter and have only added 2-3 after quarter time. Healy out of the ruck. Ball comes to ground. Works its way at the back. No Smith. Holderberg clear. Get the ball inside. It's a tumbling ball. They need to get one back here against the flow. So if they can lock it in here, they'll be very happy with that. Good attack on the football there from Hogan. He came to ground. Ball's in the pocket. Here's Pepper. Got there first and was bumped pretty crudely. Off the ball. Nothing for the young lad there. Got met very strongly. Might even be Tomasi. It is the number three. I've got his old man sitting next to me, uh, Darcy Pepper, as a, as a scorer. I don't want to scare him. Ball back into play. Ball snapped around the body there that time. That is a very nice goal. Something out of absolutely nothing there, and uh, that was certainly one they needed against the grain. And they get it back to 6-5-41 now to 9-5-59. Four and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. And that was just beautifully snapped around the body and went through very, very beautifully. Curled magnificently in front of that uh, pretty big crowd down there in front of the change rooms. Ball back up out of the ruck there that time. I'll give it to... Uh, Presto was, was the one that got the rove work, but it was the hit out, out of the ruck there by Tovey. Free kick going the way of Park Orchard, so they might get the one back here. Just 
Kenny will take the free kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Inside forward 50. Oh, great grab. Oh, that is too good. And the mark has been taken by Xavier O'Connor. Umpire just correcting his line now, and he will go back and have a dip. So O'Connor for his second. Put the margin back out to that even four goals it was a minute ago. Oh, my goodness me, he's missed a lot of it. Oh, and you wouldn't believe who's there on the line to make the best, best of it. Tovey was there to mop up the best, and he slams it through into about row F if there was a... A big grandstand here, and he's kicked his third of the afternoon. 10-5-65 now are uh, Park Orchards and Heidelberger, 6-5-41. We've got a little over oh, two minutes and change here in the third quarter. It has been a big four-goal third quarter for the Sharks, and they've extended their margin quite nicely. So we go again. Good hit out by Healy. Now this is good signs. Good centre clearance there by Gravel, the captain of Heidelberg. Gets the ball inside forward 50. And it's just an absolute pack in on top of the football. White had the football. Kick to the forward pocket or the top of the square. Needed numbers out the back here and they've got one. <laughs> Tyler Ferguson, right place, right time. Pops through Heidelberg seventh. They go to 7-5-47 to 10-5-65. Two and a bit minutes left in the third quarter here. 18-point ball game. Never know what could happen from here. So can Holderberg get another one here before three-quarter time and rake, make it a real interesting final quarter? Or can... Park Orchards kick away once again. Sounded like a little warning in regards to 666 from the umpire there. From the restart, Healy out of the ruck, got it down to Gravel once again, but he was dispossessed. He went a second in time and got a little kick away and it was smothered off the boot. A little flick handball over the top went from Sam Murphy, went to the captain and Murphy got it again. Park Orchard's there to cut it off. They kick the ball inside Ford 50. Who's there to take a mark? No one in particular that time. Got it on the half volley. Now, where's Tovey, the big man? He's there again, is he? No, it's just missed him. Cape just stays in the field of play, but uh, not for too long, and it goes out of bounds for a throw in. But up the right end of the ground for his team, and they've got to be careful here. As the ball is flung back into play. Tovey got rid of his opponent, maybe threw the ball out that time. It went in the general direction of Postel. He couldn't get the football. Hot football at the moment. they just got to try and clear here, Holderberg, if they can. Tovey, he's too tall. He got a handball away and nearly roved his own football and went a second time. Chance for Heidelberg, and they'll be happy with that. They can get it to some neutral territory on the middle of the ground, although the mark has been taken by White. White goes short. Pressed. Needs to hit a target here if they're going to score again. He's a little bit unsure. He's trying to bark instructions. Press goes inside, forward 50. Can they get a mark? Falls to ground. They've got to hold up here, Heidelberg, and you feel like the will. There's the siren. And at three-quarter time, Heidelberg is 7-5-47. They are leading Park Orchards 10-5-65. It's an even 18-point lead for the Sharks as we head for home. We'll be back in a couple of minutes for the final quarter.
Just in quiet time. Final quarter of action underway here. It's Park Orchards by three goals. Centre clear, it's Vipond inside Ford 50. Who's there at the back? No one at the moment. They've got to spin each other's out, or spin them themselves out of trouble. The umpire circles and eventually calls for a ball up. So it's been a very good game of football between these two real competitive sides. Early stages of this junior season. Ball hit up a ground. Good tackle there that time by New Dick, who's had a good solid second half so far. Kick goes wide. Good mark. Taken by Harley Jackson. Kick inside 50. Great hit. And the mark has been taken by Vipond. Another good young lad who's had a good afternoon. Young Zach Vipond. And he's going back for his first of the afternoon. Vipond gains a bit of an arc. Oh, it's a floating thing to the top of the square and will be escorted over through for A behind. So, first score of the final quarter goes away of Park Orchards. 10 6 66 they are. Heidelberg 7 5 47. We've gone a minute and a half in the final quarter. And they bring it out to full back. Short chipping ball. Just a reminder, we've still got another game to come in our double header today here at Ford Park. We've got Holderberg and Surrey Park in the youth girls competition. Ball down the line has been turned over and marked by O'Connor. O'Connor centres the ball, the ball, the win in the direction of Vipon. It just slipped through his hand. He'll get it back. He's wrong footed that time. Good to see he's got a good left foot too. Oh, not again. Tovey's got it again. He will go back for goal number four on what will be a very, very good afternoon for him if he's to kick true here. He's kicked 3-1. I'm not going to say anything this time. But for goal number four, he's on his approach. We're right behind it. Kick is on the way. And that has missed. 3-2 on the afternoon for... Lucas Tovey, 10-7, play 7-5. Out of fullback goes here, Feely. And Heidelberg clear. They boot the ball out to the outer side wing. Opportunity to run onto it, not quite there. Having to go a second time was Seno. Good hard ball to try and fight for here. Park Orchard's trying clear. Opportunity there that time. I think it was New Dick, or it might have been Tate, I should say. And it goes there to bounce for a boundary throw in. It ran out of space before they could get the ball away. Front position, Healy. Worthington was nearly taken to ground, but did really nice to get a handball free. Naismith tried to tap to advantage and then wrapped up his opponent in a great tackle and ensured he wasn't going anywhere, and it's a ball up. From the restart, Healy front position, ball comes to ground. Wrapped up in a tackle was Nudic. Another stoppage. Healy just outmanoeuvres his ruck opponent there that time and slaps the ball forward. Chance for Liam Tovey. Kicks the ball inside Ford 50 and finds Samuel Prest out in the lead. So is Press going to have a go? He's just being lined up on the correct line. He's on his approach now for the 11th of the afternoon for Park Orchards. The kick is on the way. It'll... Oh, there he is again! This man is starting to turn into a colossus. Lucas Tovey pretty much directly in front. He's being put on an angle now. He's too big. Too tall. For number four, Tovey pops it through. And that could maybe be the one that just knocks it out of the park for Heidelberg. Park Orchards kick away. They are now 11 7 73. Heidelberg 7 5 47. Five minutes gone. Final quarter. 
And it's been a commanding performance in the end, pretty much, for Park Orchards. And they're looking real, real good. As the ball makes its way back to the middle of the ground here. And we go again. Give the hit out that time to Naismith. He got it. But Holderberg go forward, so can they get one back here? Opportunity for Healy, the big man to the forward pocket. That's okay. They'll put up with that. It's in a good spot for them. It's in a scoring position. So ball flung back into play. Back position in the ruck there that time. Pergrini snapping around the body and missing there that time. So behind there for Heidelberg. 7-6 plays 11-7. And the ball goes out very wide by Webb. Who does he find? It finds no one. Just a pack and it falls onto the ground. But yet still they can come away with it and kick the ball forward. A little bit of a thump there outside our box. Went right through my ears unnicely as well. As they go inside Ford 50 once again. And another opportunity here for Park Orchards. And this time we've got Max Dominico once again. And he's going back for his third sausage roll of the afternoon. Can he kick true here? So Max Dominico on his approach. Right footer, kick is on the way. He kicks true, and the Sharks are home. 12 7 79 they are now to 7 5 47. Seven gone, final quarter. And what a turnaround this is from their defeat last week. They're putting a little, a decent little score on the board here, too. As we just wait for the footy to come back to the middle. Away we go from the restart. Healy out of the ruck. Oh, sorry, it was Pagrini in the ruck, so it looks like Healy might be resting down forward. Ball not quite coming out. Umpire is circling and is letting them play, which is always good to see. Head over the football there that time, Harley Jackson, and it's a ball up. Ball up, we go again. Interesting little handball. One that's just palmed out and then fisted. Kick inside 450. Who's going to get the mark? Clears the pack. There is Healy down there. Couldn't quite get his hands on the football down there yet. Two of the better players of the ground there today in Healy and uh, Mirazani for Holderberg having a spell down forward. So it be interesting to see how they go from there. This is where Healy rotates into the ruck here. He's up against the much smaller Postil this time. And uh, neither of them got a hit out there that time. And being slung around the 360 in the tackle there is Tate. Umpire says holding the ball. I think that is the correct decision. I mean, if you get... Spun in a 360 once or twice. That's uh, holding the footy. And the free kick is being taken by Pepper. Pepper directly in front. Kicks his first. And the old man goes off. He's happy with that. Sit next to me doing the scoring. Heidelberg get one back against the grain. And they now go to 8-6-54. They're playing... Park Orchards 12 7 79. We're approaching the mid stages here in the final quarter. 25 point margin. And good reward there for Darcy Pepper. A good tackle, good goal. From the restart, hit out goes the way of Park Orchard. Came to ground. It was Postel in the ruck there that time. They're going to clear again. Worthington's handball went in the direction of Hutchison, but it missed him completely. They might play a little bit of soccer here, although tapping to advantage is Donahue. Umpire's found something he doesn't like. Donahue is going to get the kick. 
Donahue to the edge of 50. Gravel plays on, on the right, kicks it to the top of the square. Can they get a mark here? Oh, Sternig's grounding great and taking a great grab. Who's been really good today, Liam Webb. Must be the first name. Webb plays on, on the right foot, kicks it down the line, or slip through his teammate's hands. Gets to the edge of 50. Can Heidelberg go back in? They can momentarily, but waiting for it is Galastians. Slinging tackle onto the ground. Here's a chance for Mirazani if he can get the football. Umpire circling, and they high hold the football. That was the non-officiating umpire that paid that one. Free kick to Galastians. He kicks to the middle of the ground. Here's Hutchison. Hutchison to the middle, and now here's a chance for a little bit of run. Ball towards half forward. Opportunity here for Newdick. Left foot up. Oh, it's hit his teammate. It hit Prest in the chest. Rhyming accidentally. Prest dodging one, dodging two. Gets a handball away. Newdick snapping, goaling. Another one onto the scoreboard there for Park Orchards, and they... Kick away once again. It's been a magnificent team performance here from the Sharks. In the end, they go to 13.785 and Heidelberg are 8.654. Uh, eight, and we've got eight and a half minutes to go here in the final quarter here. Just waiting on the football to come back to the middle here. Both sides so far running this game out really nicely. We go again. He's back in the ruck, Healy. He's roving his own tap. He got it down to Gravel, who's been taken to ground. He's slow to get defeat, and then Healy butters up with a good tackle, and ball up is the call. Just looking at him in the ruck. He's a huge man, Callum Healy. Ball to ground. Tate cleared the ball. Jackson, inside 50, here's Newdick again, roving off the pack beautifully for his second, oh he hit the belly of the football and it's gone up for a behind. 13 8 86 Park Orchards, Heidelberg 8 6 54. Short ball back into play. Finds McNeil. Bit of possession footy. Ball goes down the line. Target was gravel, and he got it. Kick might have been even smothered off the boot. Opens up another opportunity here for Park Orchards. Handball over the top from Postel. Just made his teammate have to wait for it a little bit. Opportunity here for Hogan. Hogan tucks the footy under the arms and goes for a little bit of a run. Kick towards the middle of the ground. Oh, it's gone backwards. Here's a chance this time for Vipond. Vipond short and hits up a teammate. Good football here. Just have to be corrected onto his line here. This is for Park Orchard's 14th goal of the afternoon. And it's Riley White. On his approach, kick is on the way. He's, geez, got onto it and got onto it and got onto it and kicked a goal. Riley White kicks his first and... That was a great kick. Oh, Jai Stevens kicked that. Oh, apologies. The 29. Sorry, Riley, maybe if you... Sneak down forward, you can still get one. 14 8 92 Park Orchards. Heidelberg 8 6 54. Five and a half to go in the final quarter. Out of the ruck, Healy only went as far as Jackson. Jackson sends one high. Ball comes down. Opportunity that time for Murphy. Murphy's handball found Healy. Healy just. Got a little bit to it, and he'll get it again. And sink a little banana-bending ball towards the boundary. Feeling for deliberate was Galastians, but he won't get it. Don't see it very often, if at all, in uh, junior football. 
as we are now into the final five minutes of play. Ball back in, front position that time, Pagrini. Holderberg go forward. Can they get another one back here? Nope, he's wed. A uh, web, sorry. Webb to Kenny. Kenny short to Webb. Webb to the scoreboard side to Galastians. His handball put a little bit of pressure that time on Liam Tovey. Back to Galastians. Sends one high. It bounced just short there of the intended target in Gas uh, Gasman. And the ball is cleared out of the space for the time being. And going forward here this time is Gasman once again. Another touch for him. Gets the ball inside 450 momentarily. Cheeky little handball. Was a good one to Prest. Prest takes a bounce. Was still wrapped up in a tackle. Gave it off to Stevens. Stevens had it, lost it. Nearly went back to Prest and it's gone out of bounds for a boundary throw in. So it's Park Orchards by 38 points. Ball tossed in now. Healy front spot. Got it down to his teammate. Although I should say it was Pagrini in the ruck. Just barging his way through and sending a banana. It's a tumbler towards the square. Any reinforcements going to arrive here for Park Orchards? It's a, it's a funny sort of ball here. And just fisting it into his uh, opponent there. That type was bold. And it went off the head of Dominico that time. And ricocheted into the crowd. And that's a boundary throw in. Throw in. Front position for Creaney. Went down to O'Connor. Holderberg clear. Numbers back. Webb had a very unkind bounce. Snapping ball has gone out of bounds on the full there that time by Tate. Free kick to Holderberg. Kick down the line. Finds Gravel. Gravel goes in board, dangerous ball, couldn't quite hit up a teammate. Nice spinning pirouette there that time by De Cosmo. Might have sold himself into a little bit of trouble. Opportunity for Hasuga now. High ball gets to the broadcast side. Just putting the arm out and trying to take a one-hander there was Flynn. Here's Webb again. Webb turns himself inside out, kicks down the line, slips through the hands of Hutchison. Right in front of us here. Got to get rid of the football here and Tate does. Just sinks the, footy, uh, the boot into the footy there. Going back with a fight of the ball and taking a nice mark was Postel. Postel kicks inside, fisted away. Good defensive play there by Heidelberg. Just running over the football there was Gassman. Gassman's still over the top of the football. He dived on it there that time. He's got to try and make an attempt there. And the umpire lets it go and it'll be a ball up again as we're inside the final two minutes of play here in game one of our double header. Out of the ruck, Postel. Worthington slid in from the side. That's going to be paid on the ball. Had to make an attempt. He was just sitting on top of the football there, Ferguson. He could probably have a go from here, Ryan Gassman. Might as well back yourself in. So Gassman just indicating that he's going to have a go. He's on his approach now. He provides a bit of a shepherd as he went on the right arc. It gets to the top of the square. Oh, Tovey on the two-handed attempt. And it's been popped through anyway. Another one to Park Orchards. Might have been pressed. That would have was at the bottom of the pack there and kicking it. Might be wrong, but that's who it looked like. Either way, it's another one, and it's now 15 8 98 Park Orchards, Heidelberg 8 6 54. In the, well, we've got half a minute to go in the final quarter here. From the restart, ball comes to ground, centre clearance looking like it'll go the way of the Tigers. Can they get one more to finish with? No, they can't. It won't look like it. Opportunity here. Ball goes out wide, slipping through the hands there of Galastians. Short ball. O'Connor. O'Connor inboard. Went in the direction of Pepper, but taking it off him that time was 
Gravel and Mirazani, and there is the siren. That is that. It's a 44-point win to Park Orchards. How many did they kick? They kicked day. Well, they had a massive last quarter. Kicked six in that last quarter, ball, I think. Massive last quarter. And they walk away. 15, 8, 98 winners to 8, 6, 54. Led from the front from Lucas Tavies. Four goals and three to Max Dominico. Superior out in front. While for Holdelberg, Aaron Pegrani kicked two very early. And the aerial dominance of Callan Healy is something to look out for going down the line. He's going to be showing an awful lot of promise. And probably the best on ground for them was Panache Mirazani. He was awesome. So 15 8 98 was the final score for Park Orchards uh, to 8 6 54 from Heidelberg. 44 points. So what we'll do now is we'll take a break before our second game, the Youth Girls. It is Holdelberg versus Surrey Park in that game, and we'll be back shortly for the beginning of that. 